This is Stephanie, and Stephanie is uh, one of the youngsters we have uh, the privilege of, of trying to take care of and help, and it's kind of what this whole golf tournament's about, is to raise money to feed and clothe kids that have been abandoned and abused and uh, give them a good life and set them on their way to being a great adult and making sure all that stuff stops down the road. Cindy, why don't you tell us a little bit about Stephanie and your relationship and, okay. and about the ranch and, and kind of tell us something about the other girls, you know. All right. When I got there, Stephanie was there. So she she's, <laughs> um, she's one of my girls. She's a very special to me. And um, we, you know, these kids have been through things that no child should have to endure. And life is not fair. But we um, try to do everything we can to make life fair, but to also give them opportunities to be very productive adults and do all the things for them that any um, person would want to do for their daughter so that they have a leg up. The girls ranch in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Okay, great, great. This awesome. is what this is what we this do. Is what we do. About. That's yeah. right. We've yeah. done it several great, years. Great, so. great stories of other kids that have been in this program, and they're doing wonderful and great things today. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's You're right. going to be a leader of the community. That's right. Good afternoon. I think it's a great cause to be doing this for the children. I mean, couldn't go for a better cause to be raising six figures. Phenomenal. Thank you. Thank Have you. Fun. Thank you for doing this. I'm here with Angie Birdie Smith, as they call her. What a roll in. That was a great putt. Thanks. Best putt all day. Well, we appreciate y'all being out here. Now, tell me about the real reason. What what made y'all want to be a part of this golf tournament? It's a great um, great cause. We're, we're happy to sponsor. Or Burr Foreman, the firm I work for, is happy to sponsor it every year. Really enjoy being out here and helping the kids. It's definitely a great thing for them. They do wonderful things at the Alabama Sheriff's Ranch. So we thank you guys for being here. Y'all hit them well today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Daryl Masters and Kim Davis. Where are you guys from? I'm from Montgomery. Okay. What about you? In Auburn. Auburn. Okay. Yeah. So what brought y'all all the way from South Alabama up to Little Coleman? You know, we are big supporters of the Boys and Girls Ranches of Alabama. Would not miss this tournament. So hey, now how y'all playing today? Ah, we actually are playing uh, pretty well. Doing She's been doing this all day. Kim, 
Oh, my fighters that. have been a little hot today. Uh, for the team. For the team. So what do you think about everything? It's been your first time out. Wonderful. It's been um, wonderfully supported. Everybody here believes in the mission of the Boys and Girls Ranches, and we're all having a great time. This is the absolute best event that you could ever be a part of, and we really need you to help support the Youth Ranches of Alabama. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching this video. It's a beautiful day out here at Terry Pines Country Club in Coleman, Alabama, where everyone's having a grand old time playing golf, but giving back. Everything will be going to the Alabama Sheriff Youth Ranches. I want to thank all of you for coming out here. I want to introduce some special guests that we got up here. If you're wondering why, why it's so expensive to play in this golf tournament and why, what we're doing, if you look right up there, you'll find out what we're all about. Yeah. Okay? All these young ladies are living a better life and doing things, and they make us proud every day that we, we do anything to help them. And, and I don't know anything you do in life that makes you feel better than to help somebody. Okay, that's what we're all about. Swing it like a boomerang, a tank, come around, round one, hit the top, top. Ooh, the lally, lally. Chip, pup, you know what's the big whoop? When I play my game, and then I make my mama proud. Smash, bang, you gotta hit the ball far, then the crowd goes, Woo. then you hear the Ooh, the lally, lally. Tree, tree. I want my birdies all day long, let the bogeys go, and say, hey. Ooh, the lally, lally. We're having just a ball. This is, wow. this is the best uh, charity tournament of the year right here. And it's the children of Alabama. You know, these kids are just not in and out. The neat thing about it, we take the, we take the child in, and it's just like any other family. We're responsible and want to be for sending them to college and everything. And hopefully, what we our charity is old enough now that the kids actually give back and not only productive to society and to the communities, but actually give back to the to the ranches. And right, so they come back. Hey, we're just getting started. We still have dinner and the music and the party tonight, That's silent right. auction. That's right. So we're gonna have a good That's time. That's right. I told you, homeboy, can't put this. Yeah, I keep missing, and you know, can't put this. Look at my eyes, man. Can't put this. Yo, let me bust another three jack. Can't put this. Got Scotty Cameron in my hands. You gotta like that thing. I got a chance hitting it better. Trying to fix my whole swing. Gotta get fit just like Ali G. That ball's rolling. Hold on. Pump the brakes a little. Might have hit it too strong. Come back. Come back. You know I'll be missing. Keep my scores in the black. Don't shoot in the red too much. Not gonna happen if you can't put. I want to just tell you a little bit about our ranches. You know, we got four of them statewide. We've been in existence since 1966. We've raised about 7,000 abandoned, abused, and neglected children in the state of Alabama. Uh, I've been with them since 1990, and uh, I've seen about 2,300 go through, getting the ones that are coming back to visit now that have grown up and bringing their kids to visit the ranches. You know, playing golf is a fun thing to do, but today what you're doing is really the right thing. We'll raise $100,000 here today you got no idea how much that will help us, help our kids. Uh, you know, I, I just want to thank you for taking the time and playing, and thank you for your contribution. I want to invite all of you at any time. If you'd like to see what your money is doing, I've got four ranches, one in Baldwin County, one in Tallapoosa County, one in St. Clair County, and one in Colbert County. It looks like soon we'll have one in Coleman County. I want you to come and visit our locations. Come see what your money's doing. Anytime that we can all help our people of the state of Alabama, and especially our kids of Alabama, that is a big deal for all of us. And we have to keep those, we have to keep that in mind every year that we do that. And um, I told Frank that I would come back as much as I can, and uh, hopefully we'll see everybody here next year, huh? You know, I can remember a time when I was younger and I wanted to stay up past my bedtime and read. Oh, love to read, always have. And so I was hiding out in the bathroom and when I came out, my dad was standing there and for the first time ever, he struck me across the face. He knocked me down just for reading past my bedtime. That was the beginning of many years of physical and emotional abuse by both he and my mother. 
It wasn't until years later that I found out my parents had began seeing each other when my dad's first wife was dying of cancer. Unfortunately, I was the result of that affair. Obviously, I was resented by everyone in the family for that reason. At the age of 14, the state of Alabama said that I had suffered enough abuse, and so they placed me at the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches in Tallapoosa County. After spending three and a half years there, the ranch provided me the opportunity to get my bachelor's degree from Auburn University, where I got a, a bachelor's in social work. And a few years later, I put myself at Florida State University and obtained my master's degree also in social work. Currently, I'm a licensed clinical social worker living in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Just a few nights ago, I was reading a story about a young boy who was walking along the shoreline. He had come across hundreds of stranded starfish. One by one, he picked them up and he threw them back into the ocean. And an older man, who thought he was wise, came up to the little boy and he said, you're wasting your time, what are you doing? You can't save them all. And the little boy, he picked up one more starfish and he said, I can't make a difference to all of them, but I'll make a difference for this one. So thank you for making a difference in my life and in the lives of these kids. Thank you.